Hi everybody, it's Opulent Spiritual with another reading. So this is going to be pick a cup. What is your next blessing? Like what's going to happen next? You know what I mean? So this is going to be pretty much random messages and you know what you need to know. So pick a cup. We have one, two, and three. Choose intuitively or watch all three. Who knows, right? Whatever you want to do, baby, I'm supporting you. So I love you guys. Thank you so much for being here and clicking on my video and supporting me. And all that. And I have to plug in my phone because it's dying. So, yeah. So a lot of you could be feeling drained right now. You're waiting for these blessings. You're waiting for the changes. I could see that. And they're coming. Okay. So let's find out. What spirit wants to tell you? All right, cup one. So what is the next thing that's going to happen, like, your next blessing. Well, I said the next thing. What is the next thing here? Hmm. I see love already. So let's see if there's anything on the outside here. Nothing on the outside. So nothing, like, immediately is happening, which is okay. Let me see what's going on here. Okay, so what I'm seeing is a person in your energy is very toxic. Okay, I'm seeing someone arguing and yelling right here. And you're a very quiet person and you don't like confrontation. I'm seeing you're the rabbit, Scorpio energy here, and you're of the dog. So one of your blessings is that this person in your energy, you're going to uh, put boundaries up with. You're not going to let this person destroy your happiness anymore. You're not going to let them get in the way of your happiness anymore. And stop you from living your life. Because you have the wolf here and you have a heart above the wolf. This is spirit trying to communicate to you to help you move forward in this. Because you're afraid. This person puts a lot of fear in you. I don't know who this person is. It's someone that's very not nice. Like this is a... Someone that is a big manipulator in your life. They could have um, narcissistic uh, abilities here that kept you trapped. This is someone that always talks down to you. One of your blessings is that you're getting rid of this person in your life. And I'm hearing May. So May could be the month. May could be Taurus. May could represent Year of the Dragon, which is this year. I'm seeing letter J. And letter R here. Another blessing that's coming towards you. Is. You learning how to. To take care of yourself. To speak your truth. I'm seeing like a lot of like timid energy here. Like you, you don't like standing up for yourself. You're, you're. You're very shy. You don't like confrontation like I said. And. One of your blessings is that you're learning how to stand up for yourself. You're, you're getting that confidence. Something's uplifting you and giving you this power, this glow up here. I'm seeing you're the cat here. I feel like a lot of you have like a cat spirit. You know what I mean? Like you're very gentle, kind, but you're, you're a loner. You know what I mean? Like you've done everything alone in your life. That's all you really know what to do. I'm seeing you're the dog and you're the goat coming together here. This could be like a great friendship. You're the roosters here as well. What's interesting is that there's a person here that is handing off uh, like a scroll to you, like a diploma type of thing. And it's like a graduation. 
It's like you're moving on. You're going to the next level here. One of the blessings that's coming into your life is a, is a great companion. Is a great companion. This could be a best friend or literally a romantic partner in your life. I'm seeing soulmate energy here, honestly. This soulmate energy here, let's see. Who this could be to give you a clue. Four of Swords. This is a healing time for you. This is someone that's fully healed. Wow, this is someone that you're going to have your happily ever after with. You know, marriage, if you want that. Or someone that's just going to be committed to you. For like the rest of your days. I see you having children with this person. Year of the dog, year of the dragon, year of the rooster. I'm hearing the sky's the limit. You know what I mean? I'm seeing Leo energy here as well. Pisces, year of the horse. But I'm seeing like sky's the limit. Like you, you're you're limitless. Like you, I feel like you cut yourself short in life. Like you only did like the bare minimum. You know what I mean? Because maybe, like I said, you didn't have the confidence here. But for some reason, you're good. You're going into this lion wolf spirit. Something is, is making you take this drastic change. I don't know what's really going on, what's doing this to you. But I feel like it has to do with this person from the beginning. They destroyed your spirit here. Whoever that was, they broke you. They broke you. And you hit rock bottom. And you should be thanking that person. I know it's it sounds like not good. But this is why you're strong or you will be strong because of this breakdown here. Like, what a horrible way this person treated you. And they will get their karma for what they did to you. One of your blessings is that this person will get their karma for, for doing what they did to you. Letter I, number three, Pisces, here the tiger. I'm seeing you manifesting a lot in your life. Look at all these things you're manifesting with your want. You're being divinely guided and protected here. <clears throat> and there's a direct line to you and spirit. is very important they want you to know that this is very important for you to understand a lot of you are just so abused here it's it's very disheartening here i'm very sorry that you had to go through this i'm very very sorry for you but you are effing strong you are so strong beyond here I don't know who you are but you deserve a, a medal for the shit that you went through and your blessing in this life is to understand that you're a gift okay that you're not just walking endlessly in like a wasteland of nothing maybe you felt at one point in your life that you were nothing But that's far from the truth. You haven't even started yet. I'm hearing from spirit. You haven't even started yet. This, this is just the beginning. This whole thing with this person is waking up a whole nother, I'm hearing portal, but chapter in your life. This is bringing you to the next level. And that's your blessing here. Another blessing, for real, is you're going to be receiving a lot of money here. I see you owning some kind of house or property near the water. Maybe that was always your dream. 
And one of your blessings is that you will own this property here. I'm seeing letter V, letter M. And this place will bring you so much happiness and peace. And I'm hearing your grandmother is connected to this place somehow. Yeah, you're gonna be so happy. Very, very happy. And I and I know, I know you cried a lot in your life. And recently you've been crying a lot. But you need to understand that these blessings that are coming, you're gonna be like, wow. A year from now, whenever you see this, you're gonna be like, holy shit. That literally meant nothing to me. Because this is who you are right now. You're the queen of swords. This is why your skin is thick. You don't give a shit. You don't care what anybody says or what they think anymore because you have boundaries now. You know your worth and value because of what happened to you. You're a very honest person and I know that. I see that and people took advantage of that, but not anymore. You're, like I said, the way that you go about your life now, totally different. Your boundaries are so strong. No one can get past you with anything here. Nobody. Even if they tried, they can't. You will have a person or group of people that will really, really enjoy being with you and not waste your time here. These are people that genuinely want you around and that they love you and care for you. Yeah, it's a small group, but you don't need a lot of people. These are the real people here. I also see you traveling and living your best life, going wherever you want to go because of how attractive you are in this life now. This confidence that you're getting is making you so attractive that people are going to be drawn to you now. Especially in love. Wow, you're going to be getting that too. Pisces, full moon in Pisces here. Look at all this green and blue. Balance, spirituality, and practicality. Make sure you're aware. And that's why you're setting boundaries as well. <clears throat> because you know your worth. And you know spirit's with you. Yep. You are very close to achieving your goals. Look at the bigger picture. Sagittarius. Pisces, Sagittarius, and Libra energy here. A win-win outcome is forecast. Yeah. Because you're balancing your life now. There's no you being in the dark and like, what's happening next? What's going on? You know, all this hurt energy. Nope. All gone. It's gone. It's gone now. And let me pull some tea leaves for you and I'll close this out. It's just a little reading for you. You know? <clears throat> Fair woman, this could be you or the person you were dealing with or the person that was evil to you. Dealing with a relationship with a woman with blonde, gray, or white hair, archway. New opportunities, possibilities, and paths opening up. Bo, you are highly thought of. Wind chimes, peace and harmony. Fan, romance, celebration, and party. Dark woman, dealings or relationship with a woman with dark complexion or hair. You are this person. But these are your messages. I hope this helped in some way. And thank you for supporting me. And I will see you in the next one. Namaste. Love and light. Cup two, how are you today? So, cup two, congratulations, you made it. You really effing made it. Whatever you did, you're getting it. Big amount of money here. I'm seeing the Statue of Liberty right here. 
So you could be from New York or going to New York, visiting New York. I'm seeing you're the dog here, you're the rat. And I'm also seeing 66 here. So you could be seeing 666 a lot. And I'm hearing divine counterpart here. Year of the Dragon is going to be really good for you. This is timeless, but Year of the Dragon is really, really going to be a star player for you this year. One of your blessings is that your communication with others is improving. Letter F, you're the GOAT. I'm hearing your surprise awaits you in November. November is coming up. Scorpio energy, Sagittarius energy here. This is timeless, but November is coming up. A line of communication is opening for you. And I'm hearing you need to get back to your roots. Something about you knowing your family history, where you've came, where you've come from, where you came from. I feel like you're going to be visiting this place. You're going to be having an epiphany or a dream. And that's one of your blessings is that you're going to experience the true, fa true feeling of family here. I'm seeing you're the pig. I'm also seeing someone happy with their hands up <laughs> over here. So happy. You're going to be so happy in your life. Your intuition is going to be on point. Six. I'm hearing six. So... Gemini, year of the snake, and year of the snake is 2025, but it also could be you or a person around you, year of the snake, it has to do with healing, and I'm hearing gentle touch here, gentle touch, you're going to be meeting someone that's going to be very gentle with you. They're going to be very caring and loving towards you. I'm seeing. This is someone that's going to take their time to get to know you. Letter Z here. I'm also seeing that this person had a very hard upbringing. Very hard upbringing. They were also raised by a single parent here. That was never around because they had to make sure there was food on the table for this person. They had a very, very hard life whoever's coming towards you and they want to create a family that they never had I'm seeing 77 here you could be seeing 777 a lot I'm also seeing 555 here wow this is the cup of uh, spiritual numbers here you're very connected to your angels and spirit guides and God you could be a very spiritual person but you're getting a lot of um, messages that you need to pay attention. I'm hearing you're, you're not seeing the bigger picture here. So a lot of you could be just, you know, looking the other way right now. Not paying attention to these blessings coming very soon. Very, very soon into your life. You're the dog. You're the monkey. <clears throat> you're the monkey is here. Year of the goat, year of the pig is here. And year of the rooster. Things took a long time. I'm seeing the snail. Took a long ass time. You've outgrown your shell here. You're looking for a new home, new place. You're tired of being where you are. You're tired of the same shit, this mundane thing. But guess what? You asked for it, it's coming. Year of the dog. Here it is. That's a new opening for you. That's one of your blessings is you're leaving. You're leaving a job you don't like. You're leaving a place you don't like. You're leaving somewhere and you're going. So congratulations, you made it. That's the biggest blessing I'm seeing here besides money. Maybe getting this money is allowing you to leave. So the plate is dry. All I'm seeing on this plate is worries, fears, and anxieties. 
the year of the dog especially. I'm also seeing letter P here. But you cannot let that, you know, get in your way. You have so many good things about to happen here. Cup two. Yeah. Some of you feel defeated. You feel like you're alone in this world. You feel like nobody has your back. That you can't trust anybody. You felt like this for a long time. But that's all changing because you're going into a brand new beginning. Where you're going to feel passionate. You're not going to feel alone. You're not going to feel like you have to do everything alone. And carry all these burdens on your own self. You're going to have a team of people that genuinely care for you. A friend group that's going to be there for you. And support you. I'm hearing. Page of Cups. And you have someone that's romantically interested in you. That wants to give you the love that you deserve in this life. A lot of you have to make a decision. And you will choose confidently. And you will not have any fear with this. This comes with you being patient. Which you have been. You could be a fire sign or dealing with one. Queen of Wands. This patience has paid off. You're in your prime time I'm hearing right now. You're in your prime time. A lot of you have been holding off, staying in a comfort zone. And I'm hearing fear of failure, but that's all changing. You're stepping out of your comfort zone for this brand new beginning and these blessings coming to you. I'm very proud of you. This is not an easy thing here. Wow, this landed right on the plate. It could be a Leo. Confidence is your key to success. Look at this. You can't make this up. New moon and Leo. That's exactly what I was saying. It's this new confidence. What are you doing? Are you getting this new confidence? Let me know. Man, you could be a Scorpio or dealing with one. But I did say Scorpio season. Work through your fears and what you are doing. Look, believe in the impossible blue moon. The next blue moon, look it up. For 2024 or when, whatever year you're in, look for the next blue moon. And that's when this is all going to be happening for you. Luck is on your side. You could be a Sagittarius as well. But luck is on your side. That's what you re really, really need to understand here. And let me get some tea leaves for you. And we'll close this out. <coughs> Let's see. Cup two. Trouble accusations. Bouquet. Compliments from an admirer. That's big. That's that uh, Knight of Cups. Could be a secret admirer as well coming through. Shrewdness and resourcefulness, especially in business. The Fox. Bear. Danger, especially in money matters. They're saying be careful with taking a risk in, in a job. Because there's someone here that's against you. So be careful of this because they might make you lose money or something. And it might cause trouble. It also could be someone accusing you of not doing your job properly. And you're going to be leaving that situation. Chain. Chain of events that will affect your life. Lily. Spiritual love. A lot of you are leaving because of this new love. Because they live somewhere else and you're going to end up living with them and moving in with them and starting a new life where they are. Kane, pay attention to your health. Kite, vacation. A lot of you are going to be taking a vacation for your health because you're not feeling well. You're stressed out. You don't like where you are. And this is going to bring all these new... Um, I'm hearing feelings. It, what it's going to do is it's going to open you up in a point that you're going to be like, all right. I definitely have to leave because I, I hate this shit. Like, I'm not happy and I'm not doing this anymore. Life's too short. That's what, this is what you're going to say. You're going to take some kind of trip or some shit. And it's going to awaken you like that. And you're going to be like, oh, yeah, I really was unhappy this whole time. But anyways, that's all I have for you. Thank you so much. <clears throat> I'm sorry about my uh, voice. I just, um, 
I have a cold. So bear with me here. <laughs> and uh, you could be 25 years old, by the way. But yeah, that's all I have for you. Thank you so much. And I'll see you in the next one. Namaste. Love and light. Hi, Cup 3. Thank you so much for waiting this long. And I don't know why I'm saying that, but... Yeah, you. <laughs> someone's going to be thanking you for being patient. Or your angels are thanking you for being patient this long. Or you're going to be thanking somebody. Saying thank you, you know. Thank you for waiting for me to come back. Or I don't know. That's one of your blessings is patience here. Look at this uh, slug here. <laughs> This was such a long ass time this took. This cycle completed and it's done. One of your blessings is you completed a cycle. It's done. Look at this. It's over. It took a long ass time. Five years or more for you to complete this. Straight up. It's effing done now. A lot of you, one of your blessings is you're getting a new car, a new vehicle, any kind of vehicle, motorcycle, scooter, whatever, bike, anything for transportation, you're getting something, treating yourself. I'm seeing year of the pig here. I'm also seeing a crab. <laughs> so cancer energy here. Wow. Wow. Yeah, a lot of you, you're getting like a truck or something, like a new car. Tell me what kind of car. I really love uh, trucks, by the way. They're like really awesome. I want to get a truck. Toyota Tacoma from the 90s. That's what I want. Number 10 is here. You're the rooster. Libra energy here. Three, two, four. That could be a house number. 324 could be a time. I don't know why that's showing up, but that's significant here. It could represent March 24th, too. And I'm also seeing the 20th. And that's weird, too. I'm seeing the 30th. So that could be age range. 33 is here, of course. Why not? Spirit's just throwing all the numbers. <laughs> so... Wow, you guys, letter P, but one of your blessings, I know. I'm also seeing 89 here. So that could be, you know, the year you were born. But love is on the horizon for you. One of your blessings is a big ass amount of effing money. Like, what the F is this? Letter Z. You have the biggest amount of money coming to you. I can't even effing talk, but yeah, that like, this is the, this is so effing big. Holy shit. Like, damn. Like you're either striking a big deal, hitting the lottery, an inheritance or some shit. I don't know, but you're the cup of money. 61 and numbers apparently, because you have the most numbers and the most amount of money out of all the cups. There's someone watching you. Look at this. Right next to the money. Be careful. Be careful of this shit. It's someone that's close to you. It could be family. They want what you have. Go to a spiritual... Oh, wow. No, I wasn't even going to say that. I was going to say go to a financial advisor. But they wanted to say a spiritual advisor. Wow. Wow. Yeah, maybe this is, uh, you have to go to a spiritual advisor to tell you something. You're of the rooster. I'm seeing a duck. And I'm here on two left feet. So maybe you're someone that is seen as, as very weak. Or, you know, not too smart. Like, people judge you your whole life as someone that's like a weakling. Or that you're not you're not bright. Like you're stupid or some shit. 
But little do they know that you're one of the smartest people in this, this world here. In the room I'm hearing. <laughs> Letter C. Yeah, they might think you're dumb. Or because maybe you don't talk a lot. Maybe you're a person of a few words. I don't know. You're of the snake. But joke's on them because you're the one that's having the last laugh here. I see you buying a new home. That's one of your blessings. Letter M here. I see a new path opening up for you right here. And this is connected to that home. It's like a castle. And I'm seeing this like place. It looks like Ireland, honestly. Like with a bunch of rocks and sand. And there's a lot of like ancestry here. And I'm hearing no, no, no. So you're definitely going to be saying no to somebody. And I'm hearing you're going at it alone. 11 year of the dog, 5 year of the dragon. 115 is here. January 15th. And guys, I know this is weird, but this is what I'm seeing right here. CC 505053. I don't know what that means, but that's for somebody. And again, I'm sorry about my throat. I am not feeling well. And this is my last reading of the day. So I'm going to wrap this up and take a shower. <laughs> so I hope you guys appreciate this. You know what I mean? Which I know you do. Just get ready for this shit because this is big money here. All right, let me close this out. Up three. <coughs> wow. You're very strong and powerful right now. You have clear boundaries with people. You're very honest. You're not this timid person anymore. You could be a fire sign or dealing with one. You're of the horse. Leo Sagittarius Aries. You're very confident now. You're ready to... To go forward confidently. Yeah, you're out of this fear mentality here. Something was keeping you up at night. You were worried. Like, is this ever going to work out for me? Am I ever going to, you know, achieve my goals? Am I ever going to get truth and clarity on this situation? Yes, you are. You're the high priestess now. You see right through this shit. You're getting the knowledge and wisdom you need. You finally are ready to receive this from spirit, I'm hearing. Gemini. You could be a Gemini. The answers you need are coming. Look at this. Perfect. A new romantic cycle begins. That's one of your blessings. That's what probably was keeping you up at night. Was Am I ever going to be in love? Am I ever going to find the right person? Your dreams need a practical plan. Taurus. <sighs> it's all happening hold your vision they're saying a new start is coming look at this your hard work is paying off you could be Capricorn it's all working out baby it's all working out don't stop believing just like Journey said you know and I would sing right now but I can't because I literally sound like shit Rainbow blessings. Look at this. Beautiful. Good news. You're going to be hearing great news, I'm hearing. The most difficult part of a situation is over. Look at this. Beautiful. You have love coming. And you have bread, period of prosperity and abundance. Look at this shit. You have the best friggin' cup, I think. And that's it. That's it. I love you guys so much. And I wish you the best on your journey towards enlightenment. And I'll see you in the next one. Namaste. Love and light.